A hotel used for human smuggling operations. More than a dozen immigrants in the country illegally found inside a McAllen hotel over the weekend. Channel 5's Carolina Cruz spoke with others in the hotel industry. Vacation getaway spots turned into havens for illegal activity. Smugglers setting up camp at hotels instead of stash houses. It's easier to go unnoticed here with the constant flow of guests. However, in some of these instances where there are eight people staying in one hotel room, um, that should be enough to, to raise a suspicion enough to, to maybe suggest making a phone call. Over the weekend, law enforcement stopped 16 people from being smuggled further north. The group was crammed into two rooms. Hotel owner Herschel Patel wasn't involved in the latest case, but knows the tactic. He's dealt with smugglers using his business before. There's been some smuggling cases, I guess we've, we've noticed, but I think what also happens is once they sort of catch one out, they stop coming here. His employees know what to look for. Unusual behavior includes individuals showing signs of fatigue, guests denying staff entry into the room, and extended stays with few personal possessions. Sometimes it's just we're being a little over vigilant, but in most cases, um, uh, you know, there really isn't anything wrong. Still, his staff remains on alert. They know to file a report if the numbers don't add up. Housekeeping is pretty intuitive with that kind of stuff. They, they, they can pick up on signs like that if it seems like more people have been in that room than, than what are registered because th that's information that's on their housekeeping list. Patel encourages employers to train their team on the signs of smuggling. And I guarantee you that some of them will say, yeah, actually, we've had, we've had some people come and go that, that sort of match some of these descriptions. He says staff members have the power to help immigrants being temporarily held at a hotel by smugglers. Reporting in McAllen, Carolina Cruz, Channel 5 News.